Hey guys, what's happening? So, I just actually got this on Amazon, and it's the first time I've actually seen one of these things. Uh, it's actually a Raspberry Pi, uh, the official Raspberry Pi 7-inch touchscreen that works with a Raspberry Pi 4. So, I haven't seen these online yet, think of worse, but it's 25 bucks on Amazon, the link on it, but take a look at it. So, it's supposed to work with the official 7-inch touchscreen. Which I have over here, which actually I'm actually doing an upgrade right now. That's that's the story. So right now I'm running a Raspberry Pi 3 B plus, octo print, octo screen, and I want to basically upgrade that to my my extra Raspberry Pi 4 here. So yeah, that's the unique thing about this case. It actually supports the older style official Raspberry Pi touch screen with the micro USB, and I'm going to be able to use the much better USB-C connection. Yeah, I can't stand micro USB. It's totally like uh, unreliable. Cables are weak. But uh, all right, so I'm going to take off my other one and we'll get it in there. All right, see how it looks. All right, cool. All right, so this is the official This is the official uh, Raspberry Pi uh, box here. So that's my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I got to take that out and Alright, so first I gotta remove it from this case. I just remember it was super difficult to do this thing. Alright, so I got the screen in. It always makes me super nervous because you have that glass edge around there that could easily break. Alright, so let's get this thing in here. I'm gonna change out to my Raspberry Pi 4. Pull the ripping cable up. Alright, let's get this thing off here. So, uh, this should be the same the GPI pins. The cool thing about this one is I don't have to install any additional drivers. You know, like with, with the 3.5 inch like wave share screens, you have to do a bunch of headache driver work. Install drivers, configure it, configure the touch screen, whereas this thing works right out of the box. Okay. I already have Octo uh, print installed on this new one here. Order and layout, put that in there. Okay. Okay, let's see going. Put the cable in there. Good. All right, let's make sure this thing works first before I put it in the case. Have my uh, official Raspberry Pi USB-C connector. All right, cool. Should be booting into Linux. Raspbian. Alright, cool. I'm going to plug it. And I haven't even looked at the instructions yet, so that comes off. This hopefully is a lot easier to install than the other one. It's cool, there's actually there's little bottom mounts too if you wanted to like wall mount it. Alright, so here is the. This is where it's difficult with the other. Alright, so there it is. So we've got pretty decent alignment right there. Yeah, cool. I get to use the USB C connection, USB 3.0, and the faster processor and 5 gigahertz of the uh, Raspberry Pi 4. Alright, that just goes again. So now I have to figure out how to mount it back to my uh, 
So if you saw this on Amazon, you wonder what it looked like. There you go. Also, it's like that too. All right, cool.